Grand Rising, everyone. It is Shalanda or Shea Seeking. And again, this is not your mama's Bible study. Um, we're going to go ahead and break down what's probably and possibly going on in the book of Psalms. Um, yeah, so, you know, I've been bothered by some information that I feel that I... Hold on one second. All right. Mm, yeah, so strange, strange things. Um, like really <laughs> earth shattering. <laughs> but again, it doesn't stop me from coming here and doing what I am feeling like I'm supposed to do. So Again, I can't find my glasses. I tried to go find them, can't find them. So we're going to go ahead and just try our best to go ahead and read through this. Again, I tried to go ahead and do it earlier, but um, yeah, it seems that I didn't even get the whole thing because I was doing it on my phone. So um, yeah. <laughs> it like, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Being to uh, being the last person to know something about yourself, <laughs> it's kind of like everybody knows, <laughs> and I feel left out. Like, are you serious? Okay, okay. So that is what it is. So again, like, um, I guess I'm noticing that. Mm, this whole thing with this uh, divine masculine feminine energy like um, I don't know I guess there's some people that will benefit in the 3D and some that won't um, I don't know <laughs> go figure it'll probably be the original um, American origines or so called black people that were here before uh, 1492 <laughs> and descend from those people like the children of God so it's really not God that's punishing these children in some of these instances it's society and hierarchies and the infrastructure mm -hmm. the construct and the cast and class so we're witnessing another flood now right Very, millions 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 right yeah so again, what happens then? <laughs> the originates are diluted. They are watered down. Mm. They have to fight for everything. More than everyone in their own land. There are imposters <laughs> sitting on the throne. I feel like we're in the incident where it's like Uncle Scar is in control. <laughs> and he wants Sarabi to come and eat with him. <laughs> and lay with him. And because she is not one to be rained on because she knows that she descends from, again, the matriarchal society. <laughs> she knows that she is the American Empress. She is that son of God. And so it's not going to work that way for me. I'm just questioning. I'm like, it's so really my best friend. <laughs> but these are like, again, people that can't even face me. <laughs> they couldn't even face me when it was their turn.
it says, oh, the, the joys of those who, don't, who do not follow evil men's advice, who do not hang around with sinners, scoffing at things of God, but they delight in doing everything God wants them to. And day and night are always meditating on his or her laws and thinking about ways to follow him or her more closely. They are like trees along a riverbank, bearing luscious fruit. Each season without fail, their leaves shall never wither, never. Mm. And all they do shall prosper. So this makes me think about whatever energy was around that was holding, putting restraints on my businesses, on my online businesses and restraints on my channel. So like I said, I feel like there was something of a shift or something that was sealed or something so-called sealed, something that was done recently, right? And it's just like all of these things, like I'm, it's like because of whatever's being done or had been done, whatever binding, right? It takes me, it's like, again, it's not really because this person or this individual or these groups or these individuals are 10 steps ahead of me. It's they had to target me by using something, technology or something, in order to make me feel like I'm nothing. <laughs> kill my family or cut them off from being a nation. In order to win? <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's almost like Medusa being having the head cut off by Hermes and set aside to be used for whatever while they consume like the locust everything that belongs to me and us, those true Americans that lack knowledge, that for some reason some of these groups seem to happen to have for a very long time in order to get things mm, mm -hmm, that belong to you, possibly. Because I'm guessing they didn't think that there would be a such thing as you, like some of the texts that we read um, from hundreds of years ago. There, there won't even be any of us left. Why is that? Immigration? <laughs> mm. Misnomers? Such as Black and African American? Paper genocide, genocide, <laughs> harp, floods. What is it about us? What is it <laughs> that they have to share, start these smear campaigns and try to crucify the energy? Being black, does that really make you really an untouchable if you are who you are? There's not a prejudice bone in my body. I don't even really believe in white supremacy, but I see it for what it is. And it has something to do with the construct that has something to do with the hierarchies. It has something to do with who you are, not your skin color. Because obviously people that have darker skin tones than you or that are dark skin too are coming from other places and getting all types of benefits and things that are going to hoist them up above you. Like the eagle in um, Deuteronomy.
They will label you as domestic terrorists and tap your phones and possibly even <laughs> place different kind of devices and recording devices in your home in order to slander you and have the world judge you on the world stage while they do the dirtiest things. <laughs> it's just like that. My father in heaven is watching you. It's just that, you know, Betty Wright, right? It's just that you know me and I don't know you. It's just that my life has been put on some type of something, right? And yours has not. <laughs> so it's easier for you to slander or slain <laughs> the scapegoat. Track everything that I'm doing. Well, who is it then? Who is it that is that person then? Who is it that is that one then that has come? If everybody gets to do whatever they want to do, but this person they want to crucify and slander and start smear campaigns. Possibly the only hope that humanity has, one of them. I thought that there was another, but I don't know. I think they chose their path. Okay. So it says, what are they going to be doing? Always meditating on their word day and night. Meditating on his laws. I wonder, you see, and I wonder again, when it comes to some of these divine feminine, I mean, some of these feminine energies and some of these other energies, it's just like, <laughs> I've given my all to source in the universe, to the ancestors. I've been a good daughter, son. And it's funny because the individuals that these people, they only use, and this is what I'm saying, they only meditate or look into the word or listen when it benefits them. When these words, those words, these words are on my lips every day and someone wants to treat me some kind of way. To exalt others above me that are not even worthy. None of them. <laughs> to try to challenge me or question me, they are not worthy. I am not cocky. I am just telling you they are not worthy. That's why I do what I do. I do what I want to do. And what I want to do is mostly good things for people. No fear. No more illusions, no more trickery. Someone wants me to be sitting here in this energy and I am not. They will. <laughs> Mm. Mm. All I know is no one's going to Lilith me <laughs> unless Lilith, Lilith is going to be that you know what. <laughs> no one is going to do that to me. <clears throat> not in this day and age. Not after all I've been through. Not what I came through. No, you won't. No. Mm-mm. I want it all back. Mm. Their leaves shall never wither. That means, and to me, that's making me think about resilience. It's never going to yield. <laughs> What I've been through, you, you can't, you can tamper with my heart, but you cannot break it. It's unbreakable at this point. And I still love 
what I do. I still love source, right? So we're just in Job. So again, it's still that. <laughs> and everything that has been taken away from me will be returned. <laughs> Lives will be lost here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and all they do shall prosper. Right? <laughs> but for sinners, what a different story. They blow away like chaff before the wind. Mm -hmm. They are not safe on judgment day. They shall not stand among the godly. Now this is godly with a little g. <laughs> this is godly with a little g. Mm -hmm. For the Lord watches over all the plans and paths of godly men. The Lord, the landlord, the overseer. <laughs> the slave master. Because I don't know who really thinks that they've been freed from slavery while you're sitting there and we're again allowing <laughs> this corporation to just do the same thing over again. <laughs> For the Lord watches over all the plans and paths of the godly men, but the paths of the godless lead to doom. So again, standing for truth is probably godless. <laughs> or since we're talking about little g God, that means that you don't want to do what man that is trying to present himself as God wants you to do. If you don't want to get the antidote, then you will wither away. This is this energy that I'm seeing here in Psalms. <laughs> Mandates. If you don't want to do these things, then mm, people have a way of taking mm, or not allowing you to uh, be in contact with certain individuals to the point where both people just give up and say, hey, <laughs> well, at least one of them did. I don't give up. I already know why they keep the energy away from me is because once <laughs> it goes there, they'll never go back. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, in the 3D anyway. <laughs> With both people involved anyway. <laughs> what fools the nations are to rage against the Lord. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Because if anything, we have lords in place. We have a lord <laughs> in place here in the corporation in the east of the garden in Washington. But who is really supposed to be there on that throne in that White House? So again, they'll try to get me <laughs> before I can get there. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep going. Then it says, how strange that man shall try to outwit God, right? So it's, it's separating the two. Fools, the nations are to rage against the Lord, right? So again, in my energy, the world is on my shoulders. All eyes are on me. People are waging war against me in my household, in my family. And anyone else that's connected to me. 
has been displaced. Any of the people that source or God or the universe has sent here to help me and others see. Those are the ones being punished. No one has anything to say. <laughs> no, no one has even close personal friends and family. No one has nothing to say. It's that bad. I'm the envious, jealous one. <laughs> mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How strange that men should try to, so it's saying nations are raging against the Lord, the real Lord. <laughs> the one ordained by the soil and source in the universe, one. Nations, who leads nations, men, who are the men, men that think that they can against, again, feminine intuition and that which we hold as high priestess and empress is. <laughs> mm. So it's kind of like that energy, like I said where Scar was ready to smack the shit out of Sarabi, <laughs> right? Because she knew who she was and she didn't want to submit or be subdued as in Genesis or replenished or built back better. <laughs> no. <laughs> In a sense, I, I feel my creator didn't make any mistakes on me, especially not now, especially what I've been through. No, I'm not leaving. No one's taking me out. It's a forever thing. So all they can do is gnash their teeth and try to strike and do these things, these wicked, evil, disgusting things to children. Courts involved, police involved, with child abuse <laughs> of a baby. Mm. But if you see, <laughs> right, you don't have any proof, right? I'm connected to source. <laughs> and source says what I know happened to my granddaughter <laughs> in the state of Wisconsin through the courts. But who do you run to when your community has been outwitted by imposters when your throne is being sat upon by imposters. Your friends and family have turned systematically, of course, systematically, of course. People fear what they don't understand, but they don't fear what's standing in front of them that does the shit that they've been doing for a very long time. How quickly do we forget? So this is the game, right? Remain in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Masculine. <laughs> Just happened to be my neighbor and best friend. Mm.
I mean, allegorically, I mean, because we know they're giving us a perception of something, but really they're talking about something else. So it's just, a, it's just abusive. But again, I've been built different. I've been built to withstand anything that any man think that he's gone through on this plane. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Us women, especially the originis, right? The sweet potato pie that everybody wants to get their hands on or, you know, again, am Erica and everybody wants to have their hands up her skirt and freely just take and use. Hmm. Usury, usurpers. <laughs> For a summit conference of the nations has been called to plot against the Lord. Which one? Mm -hmm. Is it the actual Lord or the imposter? the doppelganger, the son of man, and not the son of God. That's who they're trying to exalt. It's in the text, but I caught it. <laughs> the son of man is not the son of God. It is the son of man of four ring energies. Imposters. Well, you want to know who they are? They would be the ones that would be talking about people like me. <laughs> Which they, they would hate them for no reason. They would vilify them for no reason. Contradict. <laughs> Control. Twist their words. That's what they will do. But they still are paying attention and watching and looking. and taking crafty counsel. So when it's time or that person comes up missing, then it really won't matter to anyone anyway. <laughs> because again, you guys hated that person for no reason <laughs> or probably reasons. Jealousy, envy, and strife. Oh, we're not talking material things. We're talking about gifts. Spiritual gifts. Many of us have them. So do we choose to tap into them? It's unfortunate that education and churches have indoctrinated people to the point of no return, it seems. And then when you add the antidote, then you might as well just be dealing with zombies. People that are told what to do, when to do it, how much to do. how quickly, without questioning anything. They don't remember anything. Against the Lord and his Messiah. For some reason, right? This gives me two elements. It makes me think about Biden, and possibly divine masculine, or Biden in me. It also makes me think about divine masculine in me, <laughs> right? Because it's just kind of like tricky like that because we don't know what kind of things we're, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't know what type of things we're actually really dealing with when it comes to AI or <clears throat> so-called clone energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <clears throat> like creating another me. 
and that person using my identity until I end up being the scapegoat and they get rid of me. <laughs> that kind of energy. Okay. All right. You know, okay. Almost like you're not good enough, but it's never been a case of that, honey. It's never been a case of that with me. People like to project energy. It's just never been that way for me. I know who I am and I know why I'm here, especially now more than ever. <laughs> and the way I see these operations going and people coming to me, then again, there must not be no other God than me. <laughs> And where are my witnesses? How many times have I been there? And where are my witnesses? Of course. <laughs> Off with foreign cars and energies that look like you and me, that are in our community. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, it's the whole thing, okay? So again, I can feel the energy. Um, them trying to pull a stunt about, oh, this person said this joke, you know, about this person, you know, with the hijab or whatever. And again, I have nothing against anything. I think these hijabs are beautiful. <laughs> the women that wear, wear them are beautiful. <laughs> but I see right through what they're doing. They're playing on those strings. Again, they're playing that instrument on your emotions, division, Divide and conquer. America. <laughs> it's money. Their paper, the green paper, is says in God we trust. It's just which one? <laughs> which one? It doesn't say in Allah. So again, for Sharia law and that energy to come to the Americas, what, what is that all about, right? So they want to play that Afghan energy as if we're talking about over there when we're talking about some shit that's brewing here in our land, right underneath your noses. Why do I even still speak if nobody's going to listen, if nobody else can see it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because they can label you some kind of something, um, mentally ill or something of that nature, and then try to directly target your children, right? Who are the domestic terrorists? Who are the domestic terrorists on our land, on my land? Sure not me, because little old me, no security, no protection. Angry gods, past life lovers again that I, you know, it's like, what, what? why blame me? What did I do? You see what I'm saying? It's the fact that someone has done something to the connection here and then they want us to hate each other or they want you to hate this individual because they think that it's going to change the way that I see myself or view what I'm here for and it's not, never. It'll never, ever. Never. I question humanity. I question these things before I question myself <laughs> about this situation. <laughs> Against the Lord and his Messiah. Christ the King. Christ the King. Christ 
is that light. In some instances, it's a counterpart of Jesus, but in this case, it says Christ is the king. The Antichrist is the entire movement. If you're waiting for a man, you're going to die that way. <laughs> There's no man. It's a movement. It is the abusive nature of this governing forces and other nations going against one girl, one woman that's in her masculine energy because nobody else seems to stand up and tell the truth and tell it like it is. Breaking the barriers, pointing out the things that we may have missed, all those things. There's no one else on this planet that's speaking this word like I am. You don't have to believe it. It don't mean that everything is true. It's just the way that I communicate with Source and the way that Source unravels the word <laughs> through the Akashic Records. Truly anointed. They try to attack the Ace of Cups overflowing. But they'll never be able to do it. Only thing they can do is take from me, however they're doing it, and give to others and try to, again, make things better. But there's nothing like the real thing and there will never be. And I'm not going anywhere. They will be going somewhere before I do. They will be the ones that will perish and wither away like dust. They will be the ones that hide themselves in, in under the rocks. Come, let us break his chains, they say, and free ourselves from all this slavery to God. So again, it's almost like it's in my it's it's almost like it's in my name. It's almost like subconsciously there's signals being sent out to cause this type of strife. Like I just have to speak freely here. But this does sound like some people that want to break away from, um, again, this slavery to God. But you didn't know that when you vote, in etymology, it means you're taking a vow to a God, a little G God, possibly big G, but I'm, I'm telling you it's a little G God. There's people on this plane playing God. Sons of men playing God. Sons of God, bottom of the barrel. Sons of man coming in and getting reparations. Sons of God in the Holy Land, right here on this soil, right of this nation that was built on the backs and the bones of your ancestors. We are the soil here now. And you've been fooled. <laughs> I've been fooled. I've been fooled. I've been fooled. The only reason why I feel these people are saying this is because again, some type of money. I'm telling you, it's the root of all evil when you let it get in between how you treat people and what you do to people. If you will harm someone for money, that's the root of all evil. It's nothing really but a piece of paper <laughs> that they print and shell out all day long. But again, so-called the nation is in debt, right? But we have trillions of dollars for this and that, but we didn't have money for so-called reparations. 
Mm. Yeah. So really what they're saying is from men, because again, <laughs> The perception that we've gotten of this administration, I don't know if it's all the way true, right? Because we just get the perception. What the mass media puts out, the bills and things that they put out, all of these tricky words and all of these things that no one understands. That are just being passed and passed and passed. And all these stones... will be overturned. It's how I feel, eventually. <laughs> That's how I feel. Because it's not in a righteous manner, but it takes the people to know who they are. It takes us to know that we are the ones that we have been waiting for. It takes you to trust or have some type of faith, right? It takes you to put your ego aside, your jealousy aside, your pride to the side to a certain extent now. I'm not one for killing pride. Mm. Pride rock. I think there's a place called Pride Something in the Carolinas at some point in time. Mesopotamia, the Myrtle, Myrtle beach hmm. Hmm. well at least the island edisto island is still named after my grandmother but of course people know these things and again we're talking about some of these individuals that are in a sense grave dig diggers and they have found out these things about some of us so that makes another target on your back possibly from people within the community that look like you that love to go and talk about all the resources. Mm, they don't really talk about what they can do, you know, as a whole or anything to help the people. No, they just nag and complain and nag and complain and talk about the resources that could be found all around. And we wonder who stole the cookies from the cookie fucking jar. But I'm a hater. Like, I should be like, really? The things that I've gone through, and again, I don't know if anyone, I'm pretty sure other people have gone through these things, right? Other uh, elect. <laughs> but I doubt that these people that are doing this to us are being held under the same surveillance, even though what is done, you know what I'm saying, on the earth should be done in heaven, right? So again, Why don't we start turning on some of these cameras and turn these cameras toward these people and see what they're talking about behind closed doors? Because something is not adding up. Something is not making sense when they're taking crafty counsel against the actual children of God. In God. Which the son or descendant is what it means in etymology. Of God would be God. Would be a living God. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a lot of a lot of males that come on here and say, oh, you know, oh, this is why a woman. Right. <laughs> because they talk so badly about women in the biblical text. But these people didn't know it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the word and what it's saying <laughs> and your understanding <laughs> and your connection to source before you even reading these words. Not in the church. Right. <laughs> not in a religious aspect, even. No, a personal relationship between you and that energy or those energies, whatever you do. Because there's no reason for a God to say, don't worship other gods if there are no other gods. <laughs> but you worship man <laughs> and his laws and his lies. More so that you will rather do that than have a female in her masculine, again, because no men are really breaking the chains and standing up, right? <laughs> in that sense, 
with the truth, not my personal, you know, opinion. No, we're using a word and we're using other things that correlate and we're stacking them against each other and we're seeing what's going on here. Prophecies fulfilled. Every, I mean, I'm just, I just don't know. But again, uh, we, we've, we've spent so much in some of these cult groups, uh, some of these masculines, right? Being womanizers, right? <laughs> Polly this and poly that. <laughs> and a lot of these people are not even man enough to even begin to be in that energy. <laughs> but God in heaven merely laughs. I do feel a sense of a strong sense of an ancestor here. Heaven can be a heavenly like body, a um, temple, temples, you know, heaven, you know. Because I know the only road that I'm taking to heaven is within me. And you should actually think the same. It's not up in the sky and no devil is under the ground. No, that energy is live and well. <laughs> they smile in your face and all the time they want to take your place. And like God challenged them in the, in the text, they run to man and his laws. Because they know that'll work for them. Because it's man. The son of man is going to run to man. Because who's really pulling the strings here and now? Who's really pulling the strings? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the people that want to keep on exalting everything but the children of God in times, right? But we're already exalted ourselves because we're on high, <laughs> natural high, <laughs> a natural high. That's how I know something has shifted, something has happened. He is amused or she, because it can mean either or, by all their puny, I was going to say punny, but it's puny plans. And them in fierce fury, he rebukes them and fills them with fear. And because there's no man on this earth that can provoke fear in my heart or woman or child. The only energy I fear is my father in heaven. The Elohim, grandma too. I can sense her energy. You know, it's remind me of Moana and her mom, her grandmother standing there and they called her, they were saying that she was the village crazy lady, <laughs> but she was the wisest one in the bunch. Even as powerful to come back. I know it's just a, you, what I'm saying, because I'm thinking the whole voyaging thing has to do with ascension. Some other kind of way of traveling. And someone was supposed to be sent here to teach me how to do that. But again, they never showed up. They will make it seem like it was me. <laughs> but no.
No. And it's okay if I'm not what that person wanted, but don't act like I'm what you wanted and then you don't. Don't act like you wanted to help me, but you really didn't. Because we thought this was about some kind of race or something. When I will never be able to be you and you will never be able to be me. But I feel like the divine masculine is the closest <laughs> to me. And you guys probably feel that way too with your divine masculine. In some senses, it is you. Yes, your higher and lower self. To me, this is just, again, this is just what I'm saying. I'm never here to tell you what it is, what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me. But in this instance, that is that energy. There is a masculine out there. He's there. <laughs> what I feel happened, in, and I can't remember what book we were in, there was one scent that something happened where they didn't do what they were supposed to do, right? It's almost like that prophecy, right? That we spoke about a couple of months back. Your first father went against me. I would think like more, we're talking the great spirit energy, right? So someone else was sent. Something went down and God said, I'll call my son from the north. Is it the sun comes from the east to the west or something like that? I don't know. Mm. So again, that made me think about the prophecy with Elijah and Esther. Even Sheba, Jerusalem. I don't know why I was going to say Absalom, but I don't think that has anything to do with that. Maybe just a trigger word. Um, or maybe one of you know why I would have thought that. Um, right? So uh, Canaan or mm, Canada. Yeah, they're puny plans. So again, what, what's, what's going to happen? So, okay. <laughs> so we take the goods. We keep distracting and destroying everything around the real sun in order to project and exalt son of man. I mean, I see the transformation and everything. I see the skin lightening. I see all of the energy that's going in to try to make somebody like me. <laughs> I mean, why she couldn't just be her and then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> why she couldn't just be her and then you just, you know, since again, we're already dealing with a copycat energy. We're already dealing with, I mean, really? Really? Come on, it couldn't be anyone. I mean, I know I have good taste in friends and good taste in things, but damn. <laughs> but it's all to make me look like a fool or um, even the destruction of the household to make me look like a beggar or something. Mm. Instead of someone who dedicated their life to taking care of their children, all four of them, and then a grandchild and never sending them to daycare. <laughs> and producing some pretty decent <laughs> young ladies. Very strong and powerful and very smart and aware.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I see what they're doing. They're basically taking on my plans and everything that I've done and everything that I have written and everything I have spoken. And they're basically just recording it in heaven so that they can document what's going on when it comes to the commune with me and source or whatever's going on in my head, me being that living God energy or that Christ energy. And using the twin flame also because of the connection that we have in order to do the same thing, to exalt Jesus, right? Leave the Christ as the scapegoat. That will be, that's what they think, right? And then just create another, the, they're going to build a bitch, right? <laughs> Probably somebody that knows a lot about me, that was really close to me, or just like, you know, maybe lighter than me, maybe not so-called black. So they want to show me that you're not going to be able to be the one to stay behind and bring all of the children of God out of slavery. That they're still in <laughs> mentally, right? Matter of fact, we're going to take it all. We're going to use everything. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make sure that we create something better. And we're going to place it there. Hmm. Even the seeds, we will take them. We will take them. So again, we're dealing with some other high tech shit. We're dealing with some other stuff here. Okay, so we'll, we'll take them. And we will dismantle or get rid of that energy. We will dilute it. We will hide it. We will just observe it like a lab rat. <laughs> but again, that's the thing that's so funny to me. It's just that sense of knowing. It's just that sense of knowing. And I, I still feel like I stand stronger than anyone that has any kind of doctor documents. I stand on what I'm saying. It's fact. I know it is. It's a sense of knowing. Gnosticism. Again, oh, what happened to them? Oh, yeah, they killed them all off too. Mm. They probably called them witches and stuff like that. And then locked them up into mental asylums or they killed them. Mm. Hmm. Or they gave them an antidote and they just forgot. <laughs> And then they turned into robots or something like that. That can be used against individuals that don't agree with mandates. With man dates. I think we did a video on that with the vaccine video. Where we broke those things down. Yeah. So yeah, just, just build the whole empire with another bitch. <laughs> build a bitch and then, you see what I'm saying? This is, this is funny to me. It's hilarious. And I was just, you know, with the breadcrumbing and the love bombing and just, uh, just oh, some, somebody put so much work and so much time and years in the preparation for this. I didn't know, I didn't even never know I was that damn special. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I promise you, I didn't know. And all I can hear is like, um, Marley, stare it up. <laughs> Little darling, stare it up. Right? <laughs> it's, it's that energy. It's that energy. What else? What else is it? What other song keeps popping up in my Pandora, in my feed? Um. Mm. I can't remember the other song. Oh, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right. <laughs> so the energy has shifted. The divine masculine is, I feel like it's out, but it's not my choice. It's just something that had to happen. I think that Again, the energies, you know, are like, I don't know. I just think that it had to happen. Um, and it hurts like hell. 
especially I just think that all of the other stuff that goes along with it, it hurts so much. But somebody wants to see that part of me. Somebody wants to see me flip all the way out. They want to see me snap. They want to see me something. They want to see something. They want to see me cry. They like to see these things, right? They like to project all of the bad things and nothing good. Was done to me in public, right? So this, this injustice for me, <laughs> like King said, it's going to turn around on you. It's like best I ever had. And it's just like, what? <laughs> At least that's what the energy says. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Why do I feel like people are like intimidated by me or something? I don't know. That means they just don't know me, I guess. So it says for uh, this is the king of my choice. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. For the Lord declares, this is the king of my choice. Hmm. So again, in that energy is what I feel like that message came in within the past three days. Th this week, that energy came in, right? And that's also what provoked me to go ahead and read this, right? But then again, it seems as though because of some kind of confusion or some kind of something is in the way here, some kind of signal being crossed or something, something, you know? And it's almost like somebody already did some shit. And then now somebody wanna play dumb. And it's like people that, you know, I respected. It's like people that I looked at as like energies until I realized that, oh, you ain't even really able to even Really, why am I even looking at this? <laughs> why am I even listening to these people? It seems they help everybody else except for me and I know who I am and they know who I am. But they want to create a narrative. They want to flip the script. Okay. All right. There's confusion here. <laughs> There's layers here. There's duplicate energies here. Possibly one left behind that might be used as an assassin energy while the real one is somewhere else and then another version or descendant or son of that energy is somewhere else. Really crafty here, really crafty. I, would be, I probably would be not really shocked to find out there's another me. <laughs> She may be somebody that's not me that's assuming that identity or they didn't already done did it. And there's another one. Hmm. But the only thing that I can see that I'm doing wrong is saving myself. It's like as soon as I close the gates, that's when all the stuff is happening. Again, in trying to protect myself from astral energy, right? And other energy in the sleep realm and things like this. Uninvited energy, because it seems as though people want to project that too. So it, it, it made me seek source and say, what can I do to protect myself? <laughs> Because these people are sick, actually. And I've enthroned him or her mm -hmm, in Jerusalem, my holy city. His chosen one replies, I will reveal the everlasting purpose of God. For the Lord has said to me, you are my son. This is your coronation day. Today, I am giving you your glory. Only ask and I will give you all the nations of the world. Rule them with an iron rod 
smash them like clay pots. Now, what I'm feeling like has happened, right? What What is this? The seventh? What I'm feeling like, right, is that whatever this is, it's been a couple of shifts that I felt, right? Feels like decisions have been made without everyone being able to sit at the table. It's like almost like somebody giving away or trying to give away your divine gift and then wonder why thing is still everything is still going to poop. Because there's only one. You can't make one. You can't make one better. You can't. Because my God, my ancestors, right? The soil, right? When I go outside, the wind, right? When I'm connected to source. It's just weird. So instead of this happening, rule them with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. This is what's supposed to, this is like reverse psychology. This is what we are supposed to be doing. This, this is why unity was supposed to be something that was supposed to come amongst us, so-called black people. Yeah, first, we need to work on it, right? Because again, now you have all other nations and groups here that can then rise up against you and eat you because you spit out the gift, right? Or the cup that God sent here, right? This one of these cups, right? That God sent here in order to damn near navigate, free the mind, do these things. But again, they just, look, the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Because this is what the hell is happening. Yeah, some people think that they own a high horse. They think they slick. Yeah. They came charging in, right? These night energies, right? Let's see. This one only has the lizard on it. doesn't have the lion on it. And now they're trying to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Came riding in strong, right? As if they want to help or deliver or something of that nature. But it's just more games, breadcrumbing, and lies, Right? Just distractions, we'll say illusions and, and distractions, right? Because they got these witches <laughs> peering in. Look how evil they look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Peering in and watching again everything that people do, like me and possibly others, right? <laughs> So you you so what they've done is given those who are below me in the children of God authority to micromanage and pick through what you do on a daily basis. And they smile in your face and they've been in this community too. And you were fooled by them. And I was jealous when I spoke against them. But there's nothing else after I do this video to say. <laughs> People will see. It don't matter about me leaving this place. Again, I told you the reason why I don't think that I really ever tapped into all that stuff. Because I knew it wasn't, if it wasn't for all of them, right? <laughs> it, it ain't no fun if my homies can't have none. So if the people that are in the, that don't have a voice that are in impoverished neighborhoods and things, if that's not what's on my main agenda, then I'm not really here for the people. If what I want to talk about most is the resources, that means I'm here for the resources. Do you understand what I'm saying? That means I'm here for the resources. And that means that this person is being picked on and punished because they're speaking about this. This means that the same damn thing is happening over and over again. <laughs> but you can look in the mirror and you'll know exactly why you denied me in the message. <laughs> you can, you'll look in the mirror, right? So again, now there's this defensive energy. Like you better not, you better not, you better not, right? Because again, we're sitting here. She's sitting here. She wants justice, right? 
She, she's like, I, and, and anybody come around this motherfucker, you going to get it, right? Okay? So, again, she won't justice here, right? She's got the balance, balancing out the scales. Ain't nobody here but her. <laughs> so, I guess it really don't matter what nobody else say but her, right? <laughs> she's going to take a stand even with the blindfold on and still tell you how it is and still tell you better than any of these people that you got in office that you done made a vote a, a vote a vote <laughs> a vote right or a vow to that's what i meant to say right they are really the ones that are blind <laughs> they are really the ones that are blind and you got these people right here look ass backwards not a cups. Want to sip out of the cup. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Mm hmm. She can fly away. You'll never forget her name. Today I am giving you the glory. Only ask and I will give you all the nations of the world. Rule them with an iron rod. Smash them like clay. This is talking about Jupiter ascending energy. Right? Same things happened to her. She had pictures on her phone of um, alien <laughs> forces. I've shared them here with you. She was in danger. Her family was in danger. She had the one brother that was always paying attention to her and said, I always value, out of all the humans, I always value you the most because you were the one that could see through the veil. <laughs> you were the one that could see. She, she, she had a different way of seeing. And what did they want from her? Was it her eggs <laughs> or something? The mother of all. The kings. <sighs> all in general. So this seems something like reverse psychology. Maybe this is the energy, like I said, that we pulled the other day of some king that has been taken out. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay. So we have the lover's card here, right? Well, we have this, this high priestess energy first, right? Well, okay. Let's look at this again, right? So we got the this angry queen of cups here, right? Got got her spyware or whatever this is out here, right? Then we got the high priestess. Who's she looking at? Right? Because the queen could the queen of cups possibly even be? Because again, she's mostly water, right? Air and water. Right? And and then, you know, this 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 high priestess here, right? Even though they're going to try to vilify and witchify these individuals, right? 
which are the ones that actually helped, right? The moon is at her feet. Well, obviously somebody doesn't want it there, right? But she's got the Torah in her hand. This is the pearl right here, the pearl of God. This is her fruit, right? We even got the palm trees, Carolinas. We got the palm tree and the moon, or they call it a moon, or it could be horns, or again, Taurus energy. <laughs> the lovers, right? Something swift happened, right? When somebody came in real swift, right? At least their energy came in. But at this point, I don't even know. This could be some kind of energy that's sent in to be an imposter. It could be an imposter. It could be some, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're right here in Job, when we was talking about it, when somebody was being built or whatever, I was saying how they, how this, this being or whatever was being built, right? So again, I don't know. This could be some kind of being, you know what I'm saying? This could be somebody that's like, you know what I'm saying? Take your fucking head off. So at this point, it's it's a lost cause. It's, it's almost a lost cause. So again, rushing in or whatever, right? Probably even defeated some kind of energy, but at the same time, and said, get the fuck back, okay? But at the same time, this is the energy, right? This is the, and, and this just so happened to be yesterday. Now I told y'all and I felt this energy of a masculine energy, Um, again, ancestral energy possibly around right i don't know and also even the energy of like i said uh marley right prior to that it was malcolm x and then all of a sudden you know again um rest in peace his daughter supposedly you know what they said died but you know i, I got ways of i don't know like i see stuff differently okay but I'm not trying to be disrespectful. And it just so happens that right before that, we made mention of something about the nation of Islam and Malcolm X and something. And then the two men get off and then his daughter supposedly passes. And then hmm, we mentioned Bill Cosby on this channel. And a couple days later, after watching that movie, hmm, what's her name? W watching Fat Albert, right? We, we speak about Cosby. And... Mm, he's released. Mm. Mm. Soul siblings reach out telepathically and what happens? I go within, we go within or connect or something. And then all of a sudden things are good, but no one wants to say anything. Okay. So again, the magician makes me think about warlocks and dark witches or people that use their gifts right horribly like we said the other day that they're going to prosper the the people that are using their gifts in a good light and this is why she got this torah because the tarot is in the torah regardless of what you think okay so you see she's sitting here um all kind of like fruitful but it's all behind her right like all this it's like mm. <laughs> Pass behind her like the or like her ponytail like a ponytail right all right so it's almost like that kind of energy right and then again we talk about that we did a video video on the ace of pentacles and pentacles in the biblical text right about these protected or guarded people right okay and then like i said we got this energy here where i think even some people that were in a good light maybe turned dark because of jealousy, envy, strife, or they just don't want to see not that person, not that girl, not that guy. Oh no, she talked about these things. She talked about Muslim energy. You know what I'm saying? Again, never disrespectful, just talking about it as it is like educating about it, right? Oh, she said some things that possibly might have rubbed some people wrong in a, in the transgender community. Mm. Not really. I was just speaking on things of his story, um, right? In that nature, right? Of things, right? But it doesn't, it doesn't, it's still not faded. So if people are still seeking this energy here, that means that their cup is probably dry. 
and those who are using their stuff properly, maybe it's still overflowing. Again, for some reason, mine was clogged, right? Could be something I did. I really think it was outside jobs. Things that have been put on the subconscious to ruin it, to rot it without you being aware. Possibly through music or television or, again, through just sending out signals, direct transmitted like signals. Or even, you know, if you start looking at like spell work and things that some of these people are doing, you know, behind closed doors, even though we want to talk about my cards, right, that are in the Bible, right? Um, but they're doing other things behind closed doors, right? <laughs> Beauty spells and all these things. You know, for some reason, like if you look at my skin, I mean, I have makeup on, but it kind of looked like this sometimes without it. Right. So, again, I can feel a sense of somebody sucking on my energy. Right. So sometimes that's when I have to like take it a little bit more easy. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at my skin today and I'm like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to look like, oh, look, this person looks so trotting down and everything. But we don't realize that spell work is being done. Right. Because I've never had a problem with pimples or scars or anything like that on my face. And all of a sudden, you know, these little pimples and stuff. And again, I've noticed, again, some other soul siblings or sisters that have been suffering from these things that are naturally beautiful. But some people that maybe can't be themselves out in public might be like, oh, I hate that everybody looks at these people or these women like this. So again, you know, because they're not really you. They just want what you have, even your resources. <sighs> right? So again, judgment being called, possibly. <laughs> Page of cups. So again, I don't know. I don't know why I always see fishers of men when I see this energy, right? Because I think that, again, in some of this energy is fishers of men, right? Men, <laughs> not women, which are, again, sometimes immigrant or migrant people, or again, the actual people that the seamen came over here to plant seeds in the soil. Okay. <laughs> in order to create, you know, subgroups and sub races. Uh, but again, they didn't all look like this. Some of them looked like this. Some of them were darker skinned. Some of them were lighter skinned. They didn't all, they weren't all the so-called white man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it just, it just wasn't. <laughs> Matter of fact, the earth joined with the earth first. And those brothers went against brothers. <laughs> Problem, reaction, solution. Oh, so now these people need to come in to you know, kind of like the police and so-called ghetto or so-called black neighborhoods. When if we knew how to act and unite because unity is key on our own, then other people might look at it a little bit differently, even though we shouldn't have to. But again, what are you going to do? You're going to wait for somebody to give you something or you're going to change shit on your own. So again, that's all I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. crabs in a barrel so again the keys right so again the hierophant uh, like i do look at it as a very powerful card again a vicar of christ but we know the vicar is christ is somebody that's sitting in for christ but if christ is here then we don't need the vicar anymore and then why would these people want to be you know like and that's what i'm saying so again it, it, there's not going to be any sacrifices or energies of any bones in the bottom of the basements of the Vatican, again, which is so-called rumored. Again, this allegedly, right? Allegedly, Mary and her children, <laughs> that's what they want. <laughs> My nose ring. It's not a booger, I promise. Right? So again, it's almost like he's saying, earth is my abode. Right. But Earth got the keys. <laughs> like I told y'all, who got the real juice? Who got the essence? Who can speak clearly out in public to you about it? As above, so below, but above doesn't speak on these things. 
Angels don't really speak on these things. Angels, military, mm, mm. they don't speak on these things. We do. So it just makes you targets, actually. Right? And then again, this big old metal something, like I don't even know who would want to wear this on their head unless, and again, this looks like some kind of antenna or some kind of transmitter, kind of like that little black squiggly thing that usually be on the side of the pages somewhere, right? Well, I guess they don't have it on here. No, they do. Yeah, right here on the, the red here, which represents the earth. That got the keys. Again, <laughs> I talk Gemini and Scorpio, and they both talk about the keys, <laughs> the tools. Just that they are popular and have platforms, public. It just uh, makes me think, is that just, I don't know, foolishness. Look at this shit. Look at this foolishness. You are worried that by letting go of your frustration, those who are responsible will receive they have, will perceive they have won. Well, they have won because the only one suffering is you. But in this case, I told myself I can't do that. <laughs> Same way it's just saying God is looking at them like they foolish. That's how I'm looking at these entities. But they looking at, they was looking at me like I was foolish, right? Because people won't understand you. You shouldn't say that. Don't say it like this. Don't say it like that. What are you saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. We we have to do something we, to the algorithm. We can't. No, no. This is going to make people think. You know, they don't have to go study Hebrew and learn Hebrew and all that other shit. That's a waste of time. No, it's about the connection. It's about the word. And it's about a sense of knowing. <laughs> And the senses are going to be a little bit more heightened with the son of God, I would imagine. So there's nothing to be upset with because, again, the son of God is sharing it for free with everyone in the world. Never ask you for a dime. At the same time, <laughs> having them stolen or taken or obstructed from them. Yeah. Yeah. So again, I think this is the energy. They want me to be suffering. Right? <laughs> I asked Source. I said what I said. O kings and rulers of the earth, kings and rulers of the earth, 